Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today we're gonna go over the display on this uh, Samsung Galaxy. If you have a Note 10, Note 10 Plus or the Note 10 Plus uh, 5G series, this is the tutorial for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and then, uh, we're gonna go over the, about the navigation bar and some of the screen timeout. And then uh, icon that you could uh, rotate on the landscape. As you can see right now, the icon right now, when I tilted the uh, landscape, it does not rotate, okay? Just uh, in the portrait mode. So let's go and then uh, go to the uh, setting real quick. Let's go click on setting. And then go click on display right here. So right here you got the adaptive uh, brightness. So it's automatic, change it when you're indoor, outdoor, okay? And then uh, blue filter, you can turn that on or off. It is uh, easy to read at nighttime or if you prefer daytime as well. And I did mine on the night mode because I want everything to uh, like a uh, all the menu bar in the black. If you want, you can turn it back on so it just become a uh, white. So you want to go ahead and then uh, make sure the you're in the night mode because uh, if you tend to turn into the brightness like that, and in the long run, it's going to uh, you're gonna have that uh, burn screen or like a shadow on your screen later on, which will be a uh, permanent damage to your uh, display. And then the uh, screen mode, you can change it to uh, vivid or natural. And you could also adjust the color to be cool. So you can adjust it. I'm not sure why it didn't adjust, allow me to adjust earlier. So right now it's cool. And then you change all the way to warm. I'm not sure if you can see this difference or not. I don't really see it. Or you can go to uh, click on advanced setting and then uh, just uh, change your RGB right there by uh, lower it or make it higher. Okay, and uh, let's go over the font size and then the style. As you see, I changed my font size to be a bigger. So if your vision is uh, going bad and needs to have a bigger font, you can uh, just uh, move it to the right hand side. And as you see, the font size uh, change very big. Or if your eye size is very good, you can change it to a super uh, small font. And change back to right there. And then on the font uh, style, you can change, right now it's on default. You can change to Samsung one. And then this is what it look like. Or a Gothic uh, bold. And then that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna change back to default. Or you could download from whatever. And then uh, you could change to a bold font. Okay. And then right here, you got the screen uh, resolution right here. Right now it's on the full HD. If you want to say battery, you could change to HD plus, which is only 720p. Right now full HD is on 10, uh, 1080p. And you got the white. QHD uh, plus, which is uh, you can change it to uh, 1440p. And if you change it to the, the higher resolution, it's going to eat up more uh, battery, okay? And uh, with the full screen uh, apps, you can change uh, or choose whichever app that you want to have a full screen every time you uh, access it, that app. Right now, uh, everything is on auto. So for example, if you have a AR emoji, click on that. And if you want the full screen on that app, you could just uh, select that 
full screen. So every time when you open that app, it's going to be full screen all the time. I'm going to put it back in auto. All right, and then uh, screen uh, timeout right here. If you change it to currently is uh, setting on 30 second. You can change to 15 uh, second, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes. So somehow with this uh, phone, it does not allow you to never change it. Probably if you do it like that, it's, or it's going to burn your screen. So probably it's a good idea not allow you to select uh, neighbor. And then, uh, all right, so you got the edge screen and everything easy mode. Okay, I'm going to talk about the navigation bar real quick. With this uh, navigation bar, you can select your but, uh, back button, your home or your multitask button on the right hand side, or you get you get the vice versa and then click on the button order, which is this one right here. So as you see right now, the button has been changed. And another thing is uh, if you don't want the navigation uh, button, which is bother you if you watch like a movie or video clips or YouTube, you want to hide those uh, button. You can click on full screen uh, gesture. Okay, I'm going to uh, select on that. And as you can see, the button is disappear already. If I change it back, it's going to show right here on the bottom. So it shows right here. Okay. So for example, if I change to full screen gesture, I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to do that. You got to swipe uh, up. Okay. So this is a middle button. It's like a home. And then uh, on the right hand side, this is a like motor task, but you guys swipe up. And then the left hand bar right here, this is like a back button. So when you swipe up, it's going to the back. And we swipe up this uh, right bar right here as your multitask button. Oops. Okay, so you can see all those uh, apps that was open recently. So I'm going to go to setting again and then put that back. Let's go back to setting, go back to. All right, and then on the bottom right here, you got the accidental touch protection. So this one is on right now as a default. And you could also uh, increase your touch uh, sensitivity in case you wear like a glove. Okay, and then there's a screensaver. You can turn it on. It shows a screensaver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone uh, is charging. So let's go through the edge uh, screen real quick. On this uh, edge panel, Right now it's on, you can turn that off. So when, when you swipe it to your left, it's not going to open anything, okay? And about the edge uh, lighting is on, so it has a little bar right there when you have the home screen. And you can turn that on. You could also the, customize uh, this over here. You can show the edge while the screen is on or while screen's off, or always. And then the uh, edge uh, lighting style right here is pretty awesome. As you can see the corner, it shows the edge. And you could also uh, change the effect. There is the wave uh, effect. And then the uh, bubble effect. And then a multicolor effect. Or a glow. Or a glitter. See on the edge. 
and uh, you could also uh, change the color, the transparency, the width, and then uh, the duration. You could just uh, toggle this, okay? How long you want. And uh, edge lighting interaction is on, so. All right, so let's go to the home screen, home screen right here. Right here is the home and layout. Home and uh, apps are screen. If you want, you can change to home screen only. And after that, if you want that, you can just uh, click on apply. I'm going to leave the way it is. And also on the home screen uh, grid, you can change, uh, right now it's a 4x5, you can change 4x6, as you can see, change it, or 5x5. Or uh, five by six, and after that, if you like the layout, and then you just click on apply. And also for the app uh, screen uh, grid, it's the same thing. You could change it uh, four, four by five right now, or uh, four by six, five by five, or uh, five by six, and then I uh, just uh, click on apply. And then there's an app uh, button. It shows the button on the home screen that open the app uh, screen. And then a uh, lock home screen layout. So if you locked it, so you cannot, nobody could rearrange it unless you unlock this, okay? And this button right here is to allow you to turn it on add uh, apps to home screen. So it automatically uh, adds the uh, apps to the home screen every time you download from the Play Store. Okay, another thing is about this uh, swipe down notification panel. If you turn it on, I'm gonna show you right now, it's off right now. So when you put it down, all you got is the apps, okay? No notification, unless you uh, move all the way up and swipe down. You got all this uh, notification, either from the left or the right, okay? Or in the mid section, so same thing. But you gotta swipe it from all the way from the top. So if you uh, activate this right now, swipe down for notification panel if you turn it on. So in case your finger or your thumb cannot reach all the way up there, okay? It's just gonna swipe down right here and get this is all your notification. So uh, oops. Go to home screen. Swipe down for notification. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay. And uh, this is the one that I want to go over, uh rotate landscape mode. Okay. So right now if I turn that on. I'm going to turn it off right now. So right now, if I turn that on, all this icon, you're going to, when I switch from portrait mode to the landscape mode, it's going to rotate whichever direction. So let's go ahead and do that. Home screen. Rotate to landscape mode. Okay. So as you see right now, when I rotate, It doesn't allow me to do upside down. Let's see the other way. Okay. So allow me to do three ways. Either this, this. Yeah, it won't allow me to do upside down. Okay. So yeah, there you go. In case you don't want to do this kind of rotation, and in case you put a lace, uh, landscape mode, you don't want to tilt your le head uh, left or right. That's how you set it, right? Okay, the last thing that I wanna go over is the dual window. So you could, uh, with this kind of big uh, display phone, well, you know, from the previous note, you could have a multi-window. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna press the multitask button right here. 
So you're gonna click on this uh, multitask uh, button right here, okay? And here is the tricks on how to uh, open dual window or multi window. You're gonna click on the icon right here, whatever app that you're using, only if it allows you to uh, open a multi window. You're gonna click on that icon right here. And as you can see, there's an app uh, info. You're gonna open in a split screen view. Okay. So now you're gonna select a second to uh, open. Let's see this one. All right. So now it is in a uh, dual window mode, right? So in case you are on the top, you are like surf the internet. And then on the bottom, for example, if you got that uh, app, like text app or Instagram that you want to go look at the, whoever posting anything, your popular star, you could do that at the same time. Okay. So this is for multi-tasking. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. And uh, yeah, if you want to exit out whichever windows uh, you want to maximize, just swipe it up or swipe it down. And then that will close up the other uh, whichever apps. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Uh, like always, peace.